Neden yaptın bunu? Geçerli sebeplerim var gelin. Ben öğreneceğim bu işin aslını. Benim kararımı sorgulamayı bırak. Bir daha o parmağını bana sallama. Bir daha bunu yaşatanlardan hesabını soracağım. Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos. Let's see together what will happen in the new episode. What will happen between Baron and Fyret? Will Ghoul accept what Fyret did? Will Ghoul stand with Fyret or with Baron? What do Sevahir and Fyret plan to do to Baron? What are Fyret's valid reasons for doing these? Will Baron and Dylan's relationship break up because of this incident? What will happen in the match between Fyret and Baron? All this and more is now in this video. If you want Fyret to regret whatever he is planning to do and give up, make amends with Baron, unite against Sevahir and defeat him, don't forget to like and share our video. Now let's move on to our analysis. Enjoy! After what he heard, Baron will become very angry with Fyret and kick him out of the mansion. When Baron and Fyret get into an argument, Fyret will almost never respond. Baron will punch him in the face and make him fall to the ground. Baron's failure to respond to her demands for accountability will upset Ghoul even more, as it proves Baron right. After all these events, Ghoul will be very embarrassed by Baron and Dylan, and especially by her mother, Kater Hanum, because of what Fyret did. He will be very upset with Fyret because he thinks that Fyret is a good person now and will not do evil again. Whatever the reason Fyret did, it will not affect Ghoul, and she will not accept what he did. And for this reason, Ghoul will think that Fyret is on the wrong path and want to stand by Baron. Even though he will experience very painful days, he will do his best to make Fyret understand the mistake he made. At the same time, he will talk to Baron and state that he does not support Fyret. After these events, Fyret's place of refuge will be next to Sevahir. Sevahir will immediately want to turn this into an opportunity. He will take advantage of Fyret's anger towards Baron and ask him to secretly enter the mansion and take some documents from Baron's room in order to cause more damage to Baron's company. The events that Fyret mentions as I have my own reasons are that he punished Baron even though he asked for forgiveness and confessed. Fyret, who cannot accept this with his pride, is defeated by his ego, and begins to make mistake after mistake because of his ambition. This time, it will be very difficult for Fyret to return from here, as he disappointed Mr. Kudret. Dylan cannot stand seeing Ghoul upset and goes to Baron and argues with him. Dylan will be angry if Baron is disturbed by Dylan's interference in his affairs and points his finger at him. When Dylan gets very angry, Baron will turn this incident into a sweet conversation without further ado in order not to upset him. Because he won't want Baron Dylan, who has already had a hard enough time, to get upset and move away from him. With the help of Fyret Sevahir, he will sneak into Baron's study in the mansion. When Baron enters the room, he is disturbed by the sounds he hears and looks around. Fyret entered with a gun in his hand to protect himself. When Baron sees that Fyret has done this, he will be extremely disappointed and will jump on Fyret right there. Fyret may use his gun to protect himself. I hope that the situation will not be as we thought and Fyret will see the mistake he made and come back from his mistake as soon as possible. Because if Fyret shoots a Baron, he will be in an irreversible deadlock. For now, we have come to the end of our analysis. You can share your valuable opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.